It's your boy DJ and I'm sitting now. War in Chirac. Now, this is a all-year-round sport. Now, the thing is, when it comes to around the winter, around December, it gets a little cold. That's when the season kind of goes out. That's when you prepare for the off-season. There is off-season, but in the off-season, you got to imagine what happens in the war in Chirac. Now, you got to sign new free agents to your gang because, obviously, your guys is now incarcerated or they might be block legends and died and went to a savage heaven. And um, you got to sign new free agents. You got to then try to orchestrate some trades, right? Maybe you could get somebody to switch from another gang to your gang, get your gang even more clout. Maybe you could bring a rocket launcher too, right? Now, you got to do that along with forming alliances with other people to crush a few ops. That's how you win in the war in Chirac. Right? You have to be strategic. So now, it looks like Chief Keith, it looks like he's getting himself ready for the next Savage regular season by making some trades. He's also cutting some people from his team. Remember, he dropped or released to the waiver wire Boss Top. But now he's actually mending beef with another gang or another team, and they're known as Mubu Gang. Now, King Louis of Mubu Gang, him and Chief Keith have now kind of squashed their beef. They got on the round table meeting, and that was done, of course on FaceTime, and they said, listen, man, it's just over. We're going to now work together. We're going to squash our ops that we have in common. So they're now teaming up. They are cool. They're going to make songs together. They're cool for now. Now, listen, I'm hoping somebody was taking notes at this fucking round table meeting because remember the last time with Amigos that happened a couple days ago, Capo was actually mad that, hey, nobody passed me no fucking notes about the meeting. I thought we were still beefing with the Migos. Now I'm over here beefing by my damn self while Chief Keef is fucking posing in selfies with fucking Quavo. What part of the game is that? Well, now I hope somebody passes in the notes because this is very important. So check this out. Because all the new savages, they got to come back to the headquarters. They got to get an update on their new kill scripts and got to realize, yo, you are no longer instructed to kill or harm Mubu Gang. Now the ops or everybody else. Now check this out. Because the demonic child known as Baphomet, and that's Chief Keith, he's been doing his latest impression of Minister Louis Farrakhan, which means he's reconsidering beefs with all his ops. He's making strategic moves to team up with some people to squash the rest of the people. Now, it's either Chief Keith, at least to me, saw the white light where the top three goons of Gwinnett County came to his door and popped up at his door in fucking Cali. You, you know how they'd be like, yo, pull up? Well, literally. The top three goons of Gwinnett County, they actually pulled up. And um, they squashed the beef with Chief Keith. And yeah, they were taking selfies. They were fucking exchanging gifts, giving each other Christmas presents. Then we find out that fucking GB Tato, he, he found his long lost brother. This shit's all a fucking mess. But now, it seems like Chief Keith, he said, listen, man, we got to mend all these fucking beefs. And I'm thinking, yo... Who could be next? Because we've seen the people that Chief Keith has recently squashed beef with, right? He squashed beef with fucking the Migos, Lil Durk, Soldier Boy, right? Now King Louie. Um, who could be next? Who the fuck could be next? Could actually Boss Top be next, right? Because Boss Top could really be next. Because, listen, the legendary Chirac Diaper Bandit, which is Boss Top, listen, man, this is what he got to do to really square shit away with the, the Baphomet of Chirac. This is what he got to do. You need to go to the fucking baby gap, yeah, buy some baby clothes, maybe some personal hygiene items from CVS, and cop some deodorant, dog. Cop some deodorant, please. Then, of course, you gotta return Sosa's Gucci belts, his Louis V belts, his polo underwears that you apparently stole. And then, of course, you gotta return his chain. You got to. You do all that, maybe Baphomet will forgive you. Now, listen, I could imagine that both of them, listen, they're probably having the mentality, and I'm talking about King Louis and Chief Keith. Keep your friends close and keep your enemies closer. But uh, listen, I couldn't really trust these niggas. I don't know about, I don't know what the fuck they're thinking, but in the Warren Chirac, man, where karma is only one lack away, I wouldn't be trusting these niggas even if you're smiling with them. And to be honest, we usually see it's a, it's a pre-death routine or pre-death ritual that before you kill your op, you actually FaceTime him. So really, the FaceTime could be squashing me for really setting up your murder so who knows man but apparently our uh, chief keith and king louis they are squashing beef looks like maybe boss top could be next but who knows and also oh yeah by the way it, chief keith does have a lot of beef with fucking new jersey he, he has to offer up a blood sacrifice um he has to offer a blood sacrifice to the newer goons for threatening to uh fucking blow new jersey up and once he squashed that beef he should be good to tour everywhere and also to return to chirac and he should be all right. I'm thinking his new manager, whoever that is, is probably behind this because he's been doing a lot of good things recently, which I'm like, hey, this is good for your career being independent, which I will salute. So good job, 
keep the shit up. Also, make good music. He put out some songs with Future. I liked one of them. I'm like, okay, cool. You're going a positive direction. Don't fuck it up. Because he has his moments where he says some wild shit. You're like, oh, what the fuck is he doing? So we'll see. Get in the comment box. What do you guys think about him squashing beef with all these people? And also now, King Louie. Do you care? Was it even that serious to begin with? Weigh in. It's your boy DJ Academics, man. I'm out.